In this video I will be using group policy to disable pop-ups that appear when running Google Chrome for the first time. I'm starting this video from a GitHub page and that's because there are a few bits of information here that I will be using for this video and I will leave the URL in the description down below. Also in here you can find more of my videos that are related to this topic and here you can see the location for the policy that we need to modify and also the value that we need to set. Anyways, to create the policy, I will go to my VMware workstation where I have my Windows Server environment. And here I will be creating my policy, so I will go to Tools, Group Policy Management. Then I will right click on Group Policy Objects and click on New. I will name the policy Google Chrome Settings. And then click OK. Then I will expand Group Policy Objects. I will select the policy that I created and then I will right click on it and click on Edit. And here we need to go to Computer Configuration, Policies, Administrative Templates, and then Google, and then Google Chrome. And in here we are looking for a policy called Enable Showing Promotional Content. So just click in here and type Enable Showing Promotional Content. And as you can see, it highlights it here. So I'll double click on it and in here we need to select value disable and click on apply and OK. And that's it. So I will close this window. Now I will go to details and for GPO status I will select user configuration settings disabled because currently this policy has only computer settings in it. And I will leave all other settings on default. Now after creating the policy we need to assign it to an organization unit that is holding our domain computers. In my case, the organization unit will be this one. It's called computers and it is holding all of my clients. So I'll click and hold on the policy and then drag and drop it on the organization unit. Then I will click OK. And as you can see, the policy appeared here and also in the list here. And that's basically it. Now to show you how this policy works, first I will disable it and I will show you how Google Chrome behaves without the policy then I will re-enable the policy and show you how it works with the policy enabled on a different client. And now to disable the policy, I will right click on it and click on link enabled. And this will disable the policy for now. And then I will go to one of my client machines and here as you can see I have Google Chrome installed. And it was never executed, so I will run it for the first time. And as you can see, after running it, we cannot start using it because we're getting multiple pop-ups. The first one is to sign into Chrome. Here I will click on Don't Sign In. Now it's asking us to set the default browser. Once again, I will click on Skip. And then we are getting more pop-ups. These ones are for add privacy features. Here I will click on No Thanks and then wait a bit and then click on Got It. And as you can see, now we can use start using Google Chrome, but it took a bit of time to go through all of the pop-ups. And now to show you how the policy works, I will go back to my server. I will re-enable the policy and then I will go to my other client machine. And here first I will run GP update because we didn't give it enough time for the policy to update. So for that I will go to my start menu, search for CMD. I will run it and here I will type GP update press enter and now we need to wait a bit for the policy to update. And as you can see the policy update was successful. So if I run Google Chrome for the first time on this machine, I should be able to start using it immediately without any pop-ups. So I'll double click on it and as you can see we get no, no pop-ups, no, it's not asking us to set the default browser or asking us questions about add privacy features. And that's basically it for this video. Like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this and see you in the next one.